Okay, so, today is a vlog slash venting video. Um, this is vlog number three, and this is vent number 10,400 whatever, because I know I vent a lot. But, today, what did I do? Today, first off, I didn't even exercise yet. Because I was supposed to go to the gym, and I'll explain that all later. But for breakfast, I didn't eat anything. I didn't eat anything until actual, like, it was dinner time for me. Because I woke up, and then I went to go wash a sweater that I used to go to the gym. And I went to wash it, and then I came back, and I started cooking dinner. And then, um, when I got home, like, I ate yogurt, but that was it. And then I ate a lean cuisine, like, an hour or two hours later. Um, but that was all I really ate. Oh, and I ate a little bit of salad, like this much salad, and like two pieces of bread. And I should have only eaten one piece, but it was so soft and so good, and my mom definitely knows how to pick out bread. But, um, exercise-wise, I didn't do much. Um, basically because I'm supposed to go, oh, this crap looks horrible. Basically, I'm supposed to go to the gym today, and I was supposed to go with my boyfriend. And we usually go at, like, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, because the gym is 24 hours. So, I was, like, really excited. And then today, he pulls me to the side, and then he's like, oh, I need to talk to you. And I'm like, okay, go ahead. And he's talking to me, and he's like, well, I really want to skate. And I'm like, yeah, well, we're supposed to go to the gym. And then he's like, oh, and this is the thing that really pissed me off, which is why we, me and him argued. Because he said, oh, well, I don't want to be here all day. Because he hates being in the house. Like, he's a much, he likes to be active. And, you know, like, it really pissed me off because, first off, I don't have an option. I can't be like, oh, well, you know what, I'm bored today. I'm going to go out. Because then who's going to watch my niece, right? So I told him, like, you know, it's not going to kill you. To stay home like two days out of the week because nine times out of ten I don't bitch when you want to go out skating and he caught a titty attack and then a whole another big thing happened where he like he just got really bummy and like attitude-ish so he basically flat left me and now he's out skating somewhere and I'm home Hoping that he comes home by like 9 o'clock so we can go to the gym. And... That's it. But, you know... It's like, why like why does he have to get so... Like, why do you have to catch an attitude? Because I'm asking you, like, could you just stay today? Because, you know, like a big, a big part of my diet and stuff is... Like, I like the support. And I like people being there for me. And I'm not asking him to go out and to buy me all this stuff I'm not telling him to buy me some faster or spend money in any sort of way I just want him to be able to go with me to the gym because it's his membership so without him I can't go and I would really like to get to the gym because I really want to start running on the treadmill because to me that's a very important thing of losing weight is running and jumping rope actually those like a, I think those are the most two important things to lose your body fat rather than Everything else is, like, basically toning, which is why I have trouble doing the abs, like, the crunches and stuff, because to me, it's like, when you're doing crunches, you're toning up your abs. But if you have a bunch of fat covering your abs, you're just going to make them tight, and therefore you're not going to, you're not going to really lose much in my eyes. But, which is why I like to run and why I like to jump rope, because I, I get sweaty, and then I know that I'm actually doing the work, like I'm losing the fat first, and then I'll start toning up, um, but I'm just hoping that he shows up, so we can go to the gym, another thing I want to talk about is, I was on YouTube yesterday, and I started talking to this girl, she's really awesome, and her name is Natalie, and she was talking to me, and she was telling me about this weight loss pill that she takes, and then she got from the doctor, and it's called Bethel, I think, Bethel S30, 
and it's a weight loss pill. And I was really excited when she told me about it. She said because she like lost like 40 or 30 pounds in like one month. And I was like, holy crap, if she could lose that much weight, I could definitely do it too. So we were having a back and forth conversation. And I checked out this website where you can get it, but you can also go to the doctor. If you live in New York, um, in the city, or anywhere in... Like, you know, you wouldn't come from, like, upstate New York to go down to this doctor, but you can order it online. There's a website. Um, it's called BethelS30WeightLoss.com, I think. So if you want to check it out, go ahead. Um, but I was, you know, like, I was, like, really excited. So I was reading up on it, and I was reading reviews that customers had had written and a lot of people were saying like this is a miracle pill like so these people are losing weight and not even doing anything and I was like well I work out so I think that it would work twice as twice as good for me um and then I started reading like you know some people were having like some people said that the side effects they caught were like dry mouth which I don't mind because you're supposed to drink water anyway so if you keep drinking water, you're not going to, you know, dehydrate. And some other people said that they, like, their mood swings, like, they got de depressed. And um, I was a little scared about that because I am naturally, like, I have depression already. So it's like, for me to already be, like, clinically depressed and to have something that has a side effect of being depressed, like, I'm not too sure that might be a good idea, but, like, I'm willing to try it, and I'm, and I'm not so sure side effects are always for everybody, like, certain people might get it, and then certain people might not, so, I'm like, eh, like, I want to try it if this berry pill doesn't work, but I heard that it works, it's just the fact that, like, they scammed my mother out of money that I have to pay back just really freaking sucks, but, um, yeah, wait, let me check the time seven minutes so basically that's what I that's all that happened today I argued with my boyfriend um and then, and then you know, like, I told my mom like she got really pissed off at me because I told her about the second pill that I had found out about and she was like no no like she didn't even let me finish she just didn't want to hear it because she's like you know, I don't want it to scam my money. Like, I don't want another scam. So, in the other website, there's a there's a link that said contact us. So, I wrote them, like, a message. And they wrote back to me saying that, you know, it's not a scam. You just pay for the shipping and you have to pay for the pills. There's no free trial and nothing. So, I was like, alright. Like, I'll save up my own money and I will buy that myself. Like, all I need is for her to, um... All I need is for her to let me use her card, and I'll put the money on, and that's it, you know? But she's like, I don't know, because I don't want to lose more money, and then she's like, I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want nothing happening to you because of all these pills, and I mean, if I try one and I don't see results, then I try the other. Like, I'm not going to continue taking something that's not going to give me results, you know? But, I mean, I got to see what happens. But she was just, like, really annoyed, and she just did not want to hear what I had to say. And today is, like, an overall shitty day. Like, I kind of knew it was going to be shitty when I woke up, but, I mean, what can I do? Like, I just hope that tomorrow's better. And, I mean, awkwardly enough... Wait, Kaylee! Awkwardly enough, today when me and my boyfriend had our little tiff, um, I still stayed motivated. Like, I even jump roped for a little bit to get my anger off, whatever, and, you know, I felt good, and I felt happy, so, I mean, I hope we, we don't stay, like, silent with each other the whole night, but we'll see what happens, and like I said, hopefully tomorrow's a different day, so I'm gonna go and call my boyfriend to see if he's gonna come home so we could go to the gym, and I'll talk to you guys later, bye!